One parent reaches out after witnessing a driver crash into a store in Red Bank. Those on the scene tell us she was distracted behind the wheel. Just one day before the new hands-free law went into effect, police were called to that scene. Sydney Edwards has more on the moment it happened. Sydney. That's right. Now you can see from this building just how much was taken out behind this boarded up wall, broken glass and pieces of bricks. One employee says he's just lucky to be alive. I was just grabbing a, a soda. Then suddenly I didn't know what was going to happen. Octavio Pacheco says it was a small car that came through the building, but it sounded like a large truck barreling through. His instincts sent him running in the opposite direction. First, I was like, whoa, uh, thank God that anything, uh, nothing happened to me. No one was injured in the accident, but just moments before, a witness told me he was driving behind the suspect when she started swerving around the road with her phone in her hand. If you're driving and you're on your phone, you have to think that you have, you might kill someone on your way just because of your phone. Now coming up tonight at 6, I'll have more from the employee and the damage on the store, plus what the driver was being cited for. Reporting live in Red Bank, Sydney Edwards with News Channel 9. Thank you, Sydney. The store says the insurance company is still assessing how much it will cost to repair the building.